there, and welcome to yet another special Tuesday edition of The Doe Show for Monday, July 9th, 2018. As always, I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really full show for you today. Uh, it was a very busy weekend in performance art here in Edmonton, and I'm sure all over. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, we had quite a few shows that we were out and about at, so uh, let's get right to it. Um, on Friday night... Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Yes, Trinity. Um, she had actually supposed to have been out in the spring, but then there was a passport issue or something, and then uh, I, I don't, I don't even remember. Anyway, whatever. Um, she's here, and uh, she did fantastic, and the crowd absolutely loved her. It was, it was well worth the wait. Um, yes. And opening for her mm -hmm. was Vanity Fair, Morgan Fair, Artasia, and Pheromone Kill. Exactly. Uh, Vanity, like I was actually working security. I was actually not filming. Uh, our boy Braden filmed that one. Um, I was actually working security, so I was kind of back in the crowd, and it was kind of interesting because I'm not used to that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, they were the absolutely... crowd was living for vanity. They were. They were. They were just the girls were all talking about that hair and just how fabulous you looked, and uh, yeah, and same with Morgan. Like the second you walked out, they were eating you up in that outfit and. Uh, and that hair. So yeah, congratulations. Uh, yeah, pheromone. Good to see the chola number. You know, yes, I love that. Yeah, I was happy uh, to see that. And uh, yeah, and welcome to the RuPaul opening uh, family, uh, Artasia. You did yes, a great Artesia. job. You so did Artesia a great did job. A really great. Job. She really did. And again, the crowd ate her up. Like they just, they just were living for her. So mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to all four of them. Um, Trinity also loved and supported our uh, our local our, girls, our local girls. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll Gosh. talk more about her in a bit, I'm sure. But um, yeah, Class she act. did she did a, an absolutely fantastically amazing thing, classiest thing I've ever Class seen from a room girl. Um, but yeah, and just a sweetheart backstage. You know that that's what's important to me. I love it when a girl turns it out on stage. Mm -hmm. I love it when I when I feel like Evo's getting their money or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's uh, important. But I also I also what's way more important to me is is what I see backstage and the mm -hmm. way that I see them treat the staff and stuff like that. And yeah. she she's numero uno. She was she was mm -hmm. absolutely a doll. Um, yeah. And I and I I bet she'll be back. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was absolutely great. Uh, that was actually the only event I went to at all this past weekend because I was looking after my little guy. Um, and uh, we were busy doing all kinds of other things that had nothing to do with drag queens and burlesque artists. Yeah. However, <laughs> Bambi and Brayden were out for the rest of the weekend and they were catching all kinds of action. Uh, starting with, on Saturday there was two shows but you were yeah. in charge of one of them. I was. The ISCWR, they had their Miss and Mr. Gay pageant, the annual Gay Edmonton pageant that goes on. Number 31. Number 31. It was at the uh, Edmonton Inn and Conference Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just say, like, the performances there were amazing. Um, competing for the pageant was Ryder Cunts, Ryder, Ivy League, Pheromone Kills, and Gigi Gaynor. And like everyone brought it, everyone brought it, and uh, Ryder and Ivy eventually actually took the titles. So congratulations! Congratulations to to, to Mr. Gay Thirty One Ryder Cunts and to Ms. Gay Thirty One Ivy League. That's fantastic. <laughs> and a quick shout out also to uh, previous gays Melinda and mm. Mr. Silver. Who yes, and a good job put on this event and you can tell how much work went into it for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And knowing, uh, knowing Melinda as we do, we know how much effort she put into her entire year. So uh, yeah. yeah, congratulations, congratulations on a, on a fantastic year, hun. Uh, yeah, an entire team put that together, but I just want to give a quick shout out to all those involved. Oh yeah, absolutely, because it was also, it was also it was four different sets of hosts and everything else. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, congratulations to them on a, on a fantastic event, and I look forward to seeing what Ivy and, oh. and Ryder do with their year. Oh, and Bianca Lovegood. Yay! To the stage. Oh, it's been a long time coming, and we're really happy that you came back. I yeah, uh, that actually broke my heart when I saw it. Like, I was super happy that you were that that you were out performing again, but it broke my heart that I hadn't been there to see you. So uh, yeah, uh, welcome back, Bianca. You know, you know, I miss you, girl. Get your butt back in there. 
<laughs> and a quick shout out to uh, the out of town guests who came mm. in for the show. Uh, yada Yada Book Ahead and Flo Mingo. Flo! Yeah. I had run into Flo actually in the Southgate Mall earlier in the day, so I would actually known she was in town. But yeah, that's great. I, uh, I, uh, I get a real kick out of Flamingo, and her number was just hilarious, the bit that I saw. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, love it, love it. Um, that was one of the shows on, on Saturday, but our boy Braden was also over at Evolution Wonder Lounge filming the uh, show put on by the River City Burlesque, I think? River City Review. Um, and uh, it was Kiki Quinn, Latabby Lexington, um, uh, Lily Von... No, Lily Minx. No, Lily? no, no. Uh, the oh. Scarlet Von Baum and um, <laughs> and Bo Creek were the instructors in a multi-work week course, and then this was the resulting oh. recital piece kind so, of thing. Yeah, for everybody. so there's some new burlesquers. They're out really the yeah, some some new ones, some fairly new. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, there's opening numbers and and uh, solo numbers from them all, and uh, they will be coming very, very shortly. Uh, nice. We just finally got the, the names and we got the footage and so we are putting it all together though it should be up later on today. Yeah. So look for that. Then on Sunday we were at EVO and um, I got to film the um, Review Royale 10. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Extreme! Extreme! Uh, yeah, it was the 10th uh, Review Royale. And this um, one was hosted by I Gotta Go. Last Time's Winner, which yeah. is, I quite enjoy is a is a new stipulation. Um, yes, I, I we enjoy, enjoy that. Uh, yeah, we do. Course. And not just for when we're figuring out who the previous winners were. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun, going back and through it and looking through all the... Anyways. But yeah, we have fun. it on good authority. There may be something in the works for uh, something special for the Review Royale. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. look forward to maybe something something coming with that in the in the future. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this one was, was, it seemed like it went really well. Again, I wasn't there. I was, I was at home looking after the kid, but... Um, we had some debuts mm -hmm. happening, like... Lady Arcana. Yes, yes. Lady Creme Brulee. Mm -hmm. Um, Juicy J. Juicy J. Carly Ma Marks. Carly Marks. Uh, Sephoria. Right. And uh, Aurora Borealis. That's right! Six debuts! That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, and again, it's like cherry poppers here. It's just like as oh, fantastic yes. as that was. Like people contact us because like we're booking a gig in a couple of months for people yeah. that haven't performed much. Just saying. We are. So thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. We are looking for virgin performers yes. for Cherry Pop. So if you're watching this, Hi. if you're watching this, send us a message if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, it was. It was. It seemed like it was a really fun show, and everybody. I was at home, but I. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to people, and and they were all like, "Oh my God, it's such a good show!" And this, yeah. And this, and so uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it seems like it was definitely one that I, I missed, and the few little bits of the numbers that I've had a chance to catch um, have been fantastic. So uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can totally see why people were raving the way they were. Oh yeah. So the winners of the Review Royale Ten, we have runner up put in, and the winners were actually a tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Princess and Creme Brulee tied Yay! for first place, so congratulations to all the winners. That's awesome. And? Um, yeah, no, that's great. So all those videos are available up on the channel, so you can go and check them out. Mm -hmm. um, the August edition is coming of the uh, Royal Rumble. Uh, Review Royale, um, and that will be hosted by this month's winners, Princess and uh, Creme Brulee. So that's nice. going to be fantastic too. So you also have that opportunity if you're a newish performer. Mm -hmm. um, and if you just performed in the July one, they're hoping that uh, some different people are going to show up for the next month as well, trying Ooh. to give some other people a break so that it's not always the same one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be fantastic. Um, there was a reason that I was a little distracted and haven't gotten to a whole lot of videos yet. Um, on Friday during one of her chats, uh, Trinity the Tuck Taylor uh, made a speech talking about how one should support local drag queens mm -hmm. and not only said it, but actually put her money where her mouth is and walked, Truly. Over, walked over to Rob and handed him the money and said, 
young I man. I don't know who she thought she was looking at. She wasn't looking at him from a distance, but she called him a young man and she walked over and she handed him the fistful of dollars and said, please split that with the performers backstage. Yeah. And then made sure that she even got the ones that were in her underwear so that, you know, all the money went to them. All underwear money went to even even, even even vanity. Yeah, yeah, even, <laughs> even the panty money went. <laughs> Panty money went. Uh, so yeah, I just I thought it was the classiest thing that I've ever seen a Rue girl do uh, up close and personal, and I just yeah. it was it was just amazing. And then when I got the opportunity to meet her in the meet and greet and and talk to her, and I, you know, I she was just an absolute sweetheart and gave me like the biggest most real hug, and it Aww. was just I I'm a huge fan of of, of Ryan Taylor and Trinity the Tech Taylor. I I, I I think I yes. Um, that we decided to make a quick little PSA out of that speech and threw that up on the internet um, basically on a whim and yeah. in the last 24 hours it has hit 50,000 views and has been shared almost a thousand times around yeah. the world by Trinity the Tuck Taylor, Cynthia Lee Fontaine, all kinds of amazing fabulous things and we are humbled and we are grateful and Thank you. So thank you. Um, that is what you can watch already on the channel. But this is what we've got coming up next. This weekend we've got a couple of shows coming up on Saturday at the Unitarian Church of Edmonton. The Dragging Youth Series puts on their final show of the year. Uh, Dragging Pets 2, a farm animal extravaganza. This one's been a year in the in the in the making. Uh, I remember sitting around the kitchen table with Chris and Chris talking about how mm. we wanted to have like farm animals <laughs> at a drag show. <laughs> so I don't I don't know what's actually happening at the show, but uh, it's going to be a fundraiser for uh, I I believe a pet charity. I maybe the one that I just got a message from Kim Pizzy about, but I haven't actually looked into it yet. Uh, but that's uh, I'm not 100 percent. Sure. But anyway, that's going to be this weekend at the Unitarian Church. Um, it'll be the usual $5 cover. All monies uh, this month are going to, as I say, a pet. A pet charity. charity. I mean, animals at a drag show. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> uh, last year's Dragging Pets was probably the most successful dragging series uh that they had, so and I know that's a great cause. Exactly, so I know they've got big expectations for this Saturday as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fantastic show, and I'm looking forward to being there to cover it. So you can look for those videos coming up next weekend. Um, next Sunday, it's an Evo Midsummer Staff Review. Yes, and being sort of staff. staff. Um, I am going to be in that show. So for all you people clamoring on the internet, when will Ferris Fair be performing again? Uh, next Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for all you people. Uh, but yeah, next Sunday. And not only am I performing, but I managed to rope in this one too. So uh, we have so a... We'll be performing together. Yes, we have a duet coming up on Sunday. So uh, we should probably figure out what to do. Yeah. Ah uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's gonna be a really good time. And uh, there's, I know that there's gonna be performances from Twiggy. Uh, there's going to be possibly, uh, there was talk about a possible debut. Um, oh. There is going to be, I believe, a second performance from Let's Be Honest. Okay. Um, yeah, there may be some singing. There may be some drag. There may be a few different things. So, okay. uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about the Sunday show, and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Uh, even even when I'm not actual staff, I still feel like I'm part of the family. So, uh, you know, I love my evil family. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that is really all we have coming up this weekend. So, if you have an event that we should be covering, that we don't you know about. should be letting us know, so we can know about it, so we can film. Exactly. It's okay. um, anything before we get to the picks of the week? Oh, um, oh, I did want to say this because we had gone on record saying it. Uh, we will no longer be going to Yellowknife, nor will I believe any of the mm. local drag queens. Um, so if uh, you thought that was coming still, I'm sorry, that is not happening. Uh, we are talking to the Northwest Territories Pride organization about putting on an event maybe later in the fall or the winter or just putting on a bigger one next summer mm -hmm. or something. Um, so it's not a never, it's just not a now. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
so yeah, um, we will be looking at that, of course. Um, and then, of course, the event that still is happening is at the Pine Trails Getaway on August Long Weekend, where we put on Back Into the Woods. Uh, nice. With performances from The Wild Card, Lady Tenderfly, Christy Healy, No Vagina, Bambi Dextrous. Queen of Hearts, Bambi Dextrous. <laughs> Hearts, Bambi Dextrous. <laughs> Former Queen of Hearts, uh, No Vagina. No vagina. Uh, anyway. And Fair is Fair. Uh, and three Miss Nices. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. It's gonna be it's true. A nice it's gonna be weekend. a nice weekend. Extreme, uh, extremely nice. <laughs> um, but uh, we may, we we may get a, yet another appearance from Ferris Fair that weekend too. There's actually uh, a chance that he's performing at the. I say him in the third person when I'm talking about any anyways. Mask for mascara might be happening too. So yes. anyway, whatever. Enough about this idiot. Um, I'm excited whenever you perform. Uh, you have some shows coming up too, in, uh, later on in the month too, I think, but, um, we, we did send a message out, we did hear from our boy Brayden. Yeah, uh, we reached out to our dough crew. Uh, Brayden decided that he wanted to pick Puddin', um, which one did he pick? Uh, Bad Blood. Bad Blood! Bad blood. He blood. picked Bad Puddin' blood. Bad Blood, he loved that one, so, uh, that is Brayden's pick of the week. Um, and Sky, Sky's pick was My Addiction, Once Upon a Time I Was a Ho. Once Upon a Time I Was a Ho. Uh, yeah. And pick of the week? Oh. It may be a cop out, um, but I really, as I say, haven't seen a whole lot of it. So I, I don't want to just like pick on oh, my favorite out of the three I've watched. Um, I don't think that that's a fair judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'm actually going to do this week is I'm going to pick the Trinity the T Taylor PSA because I think that that was the most important um, thing filmed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> then put out there over the past weekend. That that to me is the number one video from the past weekend. Anyway. Yeah. And I had there was so much great drag that mm -hmm. happened this weekend. Like I had so many that I wanted to choose but I can only pick one pick of the week so I reached out to Brayden and Sky and got a bunch of picks but um, I wanted to give a close shout out to Ivy League mm -hmm. Ivy League's Pills and Potions that was a runner up for a pick of the week okay. and also um, my pick of the week is going to be Creme Brulee mm -hmm. G-U-Y nice. just the choreographies and the uh, energy she brought to the mm -hmm. Royale Mm -hmm. oh, so I'm going with uh, the little bits I've seen definitely look amazing. I uh, I definitely want to check out more. Um, yeah, looking into the I believe the uh, performer is a cheerleader, which which helps explain some of the capabilities and oh. the movements. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> a lot. Yeah, yeah, bitch can move. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, it was a it was a fantastic weekend in drag. Um, mm -hmm. I look forward to catching up slowly this week. <laughs> As I'm also continuing to deal with the with the Trinity Taylor aftermath. So yeah, yeah it, this is this is crazy. Um, we've gotten uh, 250 now extra subscribers on Drag Gear, mm -hmm. or like not subscribers, but um, the likes on the Facebook likes on page. Facebook page, people following us and stuff, which is absolutely incredible. Yeah. We're hoping that bleeds over onto the YouTube channel as mm -hmm. well to get all of you more views. So, yeah. um, anyway. how great would that be to like right? get more views for you guys? Because that's what it's about. I really don't care about this. Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> uh, I don't. I. I. It, I, yeah. I, I if it it's, helps, if what we're doing helps at all, these viewers or these uh, performers locally get more views, then yeah. it's all worth it. Yeah, trust, it's not about this. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. And, um, yeah. Yeah. We'll see you next week. You. Bye. Bye! Once upon a time, no. I was a how. Ooh.